Hello world good morning good afternoon good evening welcome to coding scientist we are on lesson number 38 and in this particular lesson of jetbot artificial intelligence and robotics we are into the ross section now here i am going to show you how to download and compile the jetson inference engine so basically uh, th in this particular inference engine we got uh, nvidia has built ton loads of pre trained neural uh, network okay so we are going to grab those repository from github and put it in jetson nano and combine it and download some of uh, some of the pre trained uh, models and put that into our ross package so this is going to be really really helpful and interesting uh, when when jetbot is moving around autonomously detect the objects uh, recognize the images and set a path and you can you can you know create a, a gazebo uh, simulations around it so i am going to show you one by one guys it's going to get interesting all right so let's move on so i am going to share my jetson screen jetbot screen this is where we are and i have also opened up my manual so let's go and grab the first one so what it says so it, say, it says let's install the git cmake so this is what we are going to do we are going to install the cmake copy and put it on the terminal that's good it's reading the package okay it might ask for yes or no yes there you go you need to type yes enter i think it's going to take time so guys just a heads up uh, this lesson this particular exercise and this lesson is going to take more about 45 minutes to 1 hour depending upon which network you are so what i am going to do is i am going to show you the commands exactly the right one from my manual which i created type that on the terminal and it's going to keep on running do not interfere i am going to pause my recording pause the recording of this video after each command and come back to you as soon as it's done all right guys so this is just an heads up be prepared for at least an hour or so one hour easily okay so this is done now let's let me clear this let me move the screen down and let's go back to our manual all right now let's go to the workspace the workspace which we created before all right all right we are into the workspace directory now what we need to do once we get into the workspace we need to clone this entire jetson inference repository from github and this is going to take a while guys no this is not going to take much time but once we start compiling this that's where you know it's going to consume a lot of time there you go receiving objects receiving objects 42% i think it's pretty fast it's going to take just couple of minutes 53 95 all right and delta is 100% done yeah there you go we are ready let me clear the screen i prefer to keep the screen clean guys so you know let me open the manual again now we need to get into the jetson inference directory which we just downloaded from the github uh, repository okay there we are we are into the jetson inference directory which is created successfully which is a good news now we got to git the entire library and sorry the entire uh, package which we downloaded and make a path to init okay this is going to take a while in it there you go cloning entire stuff is getting cloned into the workspace all right guys i am going to pause the video and then come back to you because this is going to take at least 10 to 15 minutes easily i am going to pause the recording and then i'll be back as soon as this is done 
all right this is done this is complete now let me clear the screen clear and uh, what next let's take a look at our manual okay now we have the jetson repository so now let's start the build all right guys let's create a directory called build within the jetson inference engine which we downloaded i am going to create the build okay now we need to get into the build directory cd build okay we are into the build folder of jetson inference engine and now let's see now we got a c make all right c make and the next command make is going to take quite a lot of time i am going to keep it running and pause the video c make all right it's compiling guys okay i am going to be back pretty quick i'll just pause this video uh, let it run it's going to take easily about 30 minutes for sure all right all right guys so once you download the entire uh, jetson inference uh, engine and start compiling with the binaries you will see this kind of this particular screen uh, so this specific screen is nothing but it's going to ask you what kind of models you want to download right so what you need to do you need to use the space tab okay you need to use the space tab in your keyboard that is your uh, the if you don't know which just space tab this is the one guys sometimes it gets confused right so you got to use that to select it okay do not press any other key so i am going to select image recognition all models and you can see a star mark and then you can scroll it down using the down arrow key okay scroll it down down arrow key and i'm going to select object detection all models press the space tab you can see the star mark and then i'm going to leave the default as it is uh, you know whatever is mentioned in that i'm going to select semantic segmentation okay maybe some of the models are already in there so i'll leave it as it is let me move on to legacy semantic segmentation legacy nah i don't want that i am going to move on to image processing okay all models i am going to download that and that's it so now we need to you know uh, take your mouse and click okay all right guys so this is going to take at least another 35 to 40 minutes easily uh, now again this will depend upon your internet uh, your network at home or office wherever you are following this lesson so easily you know it will take about 45 minutes give or take so i am going to pause this recording and uh, once the model is downloaded i am going to be back in this video quick all right guys so once your model is downloaded completely you will see this particular uh, screen so this screen basically asks you to install uh, PyTorch, which is basically a vision, uh, uh, you know, uh, algorithmic uh, library package for Python. So uh, if you are on Python 3.6 and above, 3.2 and above, basically it supports. So you got to click OK for this. So what you need to do, press the tab button. It will highlight a star and then click on this OK button. And that's going to install PyTorch for you. So guys, I hope you have downloaded all the models uh, which I showed you uh, just prior to PyTorch. So once the model is downloaded, the screen will automatically pop up. You got to click and install PyTorch and this is going to take a couple of minutes, of course. So let's, let's, let's wait, let's wait. All right, guys. So this took pretty long, isn't it? Yeah, you got to have a lot of patience, guys, because some of these packages compiling this together and installation takes quite a long time in Jetson Nano. Uh, remember, we are running all these stuff in a single board computer with a GPU on top of it. So anyway, so now that we have installed the PyTorch and the PyTorch combines with your NumPy and a couple of other libraries, 
and you got to wait till this end if you see on the screen you know sometimes you might notice that your terminal looks pretty much hung state you know nothing is happening so do not touch guys do not touch uh, the terminal at all let it run let it keep running let it get hung but just leave it as it is this might take a while all right now we need we just saw the last line uh, that is my uh, user id uh, into the jetson and till you find this last line you got to wait be patient now let's see what we got to do i think we need to make it we installed uh, we did make the files now let's take a look at it what we need to do let me open up my manual i think we need to make it yes correct so let me execute this command uh, call make let me clear this first so that you guys can see okay now what you need to do in the same directory path you need to type make m a k e make okay so this is going to take some more uh, time and you got to be really really patient again this is going is just one person now it has to complete till 100% this is going to combine all your deep learning models which we downloaded and put that together into your cmake file and then compile the binaries and you know all those stuff keeps happening so be patient and let it run all right let's see where are we now we just reached 12% guys okay so this is going to take a while so you got to be really patient let's leave it and watch i mean we can't do anything we just got to keep watching the screen right but make sure that you do not type anything in between just leave it as it is we are at 13% it's going to take some time and now it's building the dependency packages okay yeah let's let's let it keep running it's about 25% 26% all right now it's building the tensor flow uh, objects so all the tensors and the, the entire your neural uh, from input to the output so we are going to build a fully connected uh, network using the pre trained model so that's what the compilation is happening right now so let's let let's leave it as it is again it's running the dependencies in the jetson inference engine now it's targeting for the camera build so each and every model which we downloaded all the deep learning uh, model and the pre trained neural network within the jets and inference engine so that's going to target on the camera captures that's what is running uh, right in front of you so this is going to take some more time as well guys so let's be patient all right so this process has taken a while and now we are done we have combined and compiled our jets and inference uh, libraries and and the deep learning models and the new the pre trained neural network and everything is combined together and it's it's ready to shoot out now what we got to do i think we need we have one more command left out that is sudo make install all right let's do that let me clear this terminal let me clear this okay and let me bring it down a little bit now we need to what we need to do sudo s u d o sudo make m a k e install i n s t a l l install like this all right so this is going to build your entire binary system into the path and then we will set the target into ros all right this is running pretty quick it's going to be done in couple of seconds all right guys we are all set now so this is we are now ready with our deep learning models uh, with our entire ai packages ready to be deployed into robotic operating system into robot operating system or ros whatever you call it as but it's going to get really really interesting guys I am going to be back in the next lesson stay tuned I will show you how to combine all this stuffs into ros bye bye